Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these AI pedestrians. So let's go. First of all we will be using the map of the NPC card tutorial series, of course link is in the description. So the first thing that we need to do is create the NPC itself, so the pedestrian. In this case we will be using the third person template. If you don't have it you can just click add, add feature content pack and choose the third person template here. We just copy and paste the blueprint of the third person character. Let's rename this to NPC character. And then we just open this up. We can delete everything from the event graph here. Then we go to the viewport and we can delete the camera as well. So we just have the character itself. Compile and save this. Now we need two more variables. The first one will be the Desti nations this will be in target point object reference as an array and make sure to make this public so open the eye and then we need the target point this will be an integer as a single variable then we go to the event graph and we need an begin play event. We need the reference to self. We take out the destinations. We take out the target point. Then we go from the destinations and get a copy. Connect the target point here. And then we need the function AI move to. Self is the pawn. The return value here is the target actor. Then we need from the target point we hit plus. We want to add one. Then we get the length of the destinations. We check with equal if they are equal. Then we need the branch on success. Connected. Then we want to set the target point on true to zero and on false to the plus value of the target points. And then we just go back to the AI move to like that. So basically, what it does is at begin play, the AI move to the first target point in the list. Then it checks if it reaches the last target point. If yes, it goes to the first one. If not, it goes to the second one and go on. Basically, it moves forever in the circle with the target points. Let's compile and save this. Go back to our level here and place the NPC character right here. And then we go to place actors and search for the target point. Let's put this on the other side of the road here, just for example, like that. And now we need an enough mesh bounce volume. Let's place it inside the world. And when we press P, you can see the radius where the character can move. So let's just go up here and place this all over the town here like that. So as you can see this is the radius where the character can go. So we now select the character, go to the details and then we just have the destination tag here, hit plus, select the target point. So we say the character should go to this target point here and when we now hit play it will run straight yeah, and hit by a car. So that's a problem we need to fix. First of all, we need to make obstacles on the street. So we select this road part here and open this up. We have the NPC car navigation from the other tutorial series. You can ignore this part. We just set up a new box collision here that we call NPC block. We go down to the collision and select the no collision 
And up here we have the dynamic obstacle and check this to true. Then we place this part in the middle of the road. So we have the same size like that. And when we compile and save this and go back to our level, you can see we have the red parts all over the map here. When we now hit play, you can see it avoids the parts. Let's do this for the crossword as well. So same concept, we can actually copy and paste this to the other part of the road and just make this a little bit bigger here, like that. And when we compile and save this as well, we have the other red part. So now you can see the AI will only move between this parts here. When we hit play, you can see it works perfectly. So you can put the target point wherever you want. So let's put this on the other side of the road here behind there and we can easily copy and paste this if you want on the other side so back there so what we can do now is select again the AI go to the details and Hit the plus on the target points and set it to the second target point. When we now hit play, it will move to the first one and then run in circles. Also, when we select the NPC and open it up again, let's go to the character movement and we have the max walk speed. Let's put this to 200 here, for example. So it looks much more smoothly here and the pedestrian walks down the street. Great, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.